Hey, this is Brian Jones from eLearning Art. This is a follow-up lesson where I wanted to show you how you can actually uh, take a single image and create uh, multiple zooms and pans that give you flexibility for uh, how you can use uh, use those backgrounds to create uh, conversations in your eLearning courses. So uh, I quickly went over this in the, um, in the overview video. If you haven't seen that, you should go back and watch it. Um, but essentially, um, we're going to be creating three separate images. The original file, which is here, and then this is kind of a long panoramic view, and then this is a zoomed in even longer panoramic view uh, that would look like this. So here's your original cropped file, uh, a slightly zoomed in panoramic, and then the really zoomed in full panoramic view. Um, and I want to show you how uh, what I do in Photoshop to set that up. So let's go ahead and actually pull it up. You can do this uh, within PowerPoint as well, but doing that initial crop I just sometimes find it's easier um, to open up Photoshop. So let's just go File, Open. Um, this is the original background image. And it'll open up here. All right, here we go. And um, so I, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the marquee tool going. And um, when I create the original, um, this isn't the aspect ratio isn't quite right. So what I'll do is I'll go to a fixed ratio and I'll set that to four to three, which is pretty typical for the the ratios in PowerPoint and um, and some of the other authoring authoring tools. So I'll grab that and you know, I'll just drag that down, and I can decide where I want to move move this. Um, if I want to be more to the right or the left, and then I'm just going to go image, crop, and then image size. And um, here I want the I want to be at 72 dpi with the document size, so that PowerPoint deals with document sizes. But uh, you want to make sure that you also are getting the right uh, height and width. And I'm going to do 800 by 600, even though it's not quite what PowerPoint does. It gives it a little bit extra room, and that's also um, a little bit better in a couple of the other authoring tools. It's kind of like the safest all around. So. I'm going to do 600 by 800, and then I go OK, and there we go, and then I can just save that out. Now let me just uh, step back a little bit. Um, if I were going to then create that um, mid-panoramic view, I'd do something like this. I'd grab that. Oh, sorry, need to get off the fixed ratio back to normal. And I would just grab this, say like so, slightly zoomed in. Again, I go image crop, image size. And now I, I want the panoramic, so what I want to control is the height. So height, I go to 600, say OK, and there we go. I would save it out, and then I'd step back again, and now I do a zoomed in view. So maybe I do something like this, image crop, image size, save it out 600 by 800 again. All right, so now I'm back here in, in PowerPoint, and I want to show you what I'm going to do. So I will go to Insert the Image, and then here are the different views that I have. There's my 600 by 800 uh, full view. I grab that, and boom, it just fits really nicely in there. I can adjust the size up and down. I have that on my Quick Access Toolbar. You might have it somewhere else. So then I can drop my characters right on there. Um, let me get that out of there and show you the same thing. Once I put um, the mid-zoom, the mid zoom is right here, and I want to scale that up to be seven and a half, uh, seven and a half tall, and then I can put that there. And now you'll see if you look over to let me zoom out slightly. You'll see if I look over to the left here, it's only you know at the end of the the image is right here. I can kind of slide this across, look over here to create three different views a pan to the left into the center and into the right and that's essentially what I'm able to create with that same image dropping the characters on it in different spots of the background kind of creates a different perspective so let me uh, pull this one out and again do the full zoom in now we're gonna end up with this huge cropped one let's get it to seven and a half like so you'll see how much bigger it is than, than the than the screen um, but and now I can really, you'll see it as I drag it around here, um, I get different views. Um, anyways, that's kind of how I approach um, the creation of those background images. Um, there's some other things I do with recoloring that I'll show you in a separate lesson. Hope you find that.